So having worked really hard as a school to get outstanding at our last inspection, obviously for us, we really want to maintain it so that all the children that come through our school have the best opportunities. And Iris Technology, we use it to enable teachers to really take control of the quality of their own teaching and the learning that happens in their classrooms, to kind of put, you know, put power on, on them and being the absolute best they can be and being really reflective practitioners and always thinking, you know, this was good, how can I do it better next time? The thing with Iris that makes it just that that bit better, more special really, is that it can go anywhere. It can be taken into any area of learning. So for us, that, that in itself was the reason that we went for Iris and it has proved, you know, worth its weight in gold. Okay, I think the impact has been greatest. Once, we st once the teachers started watching the way they spoke, the tone of their voice, how they moved around children and their learning, perhaps how much talking they did in comparison to, to, to children, that had all sorts of benefits. But then we looked at it and we thought, well, actually, we can make the learning visible for the child because at, there is, there's something really powerful in a child seeing their own learning behaviours. And we thought, okay, we can use this piece of equipment, not only for a teacher to see how they interact, but for the child to see how they're responding. A big part of my role is about identifying barriers to learning, understanding why learning isn't happening in the way it could be happening for some children. Iris Connect has given us a, another, it's like a sixth sense, it's another um, way of observing what might be going on. And we've also developed an approach which we call YY, um, where we're analysing the behaviour that we're seeing and looking for the triggers um, to the sorts of behaviours that are stopping the children learning. So um, in terms of impact, what are we seeing? Well, I suppose the, the biggest thing that we're seeing is that although we have got an, a, a, an increase, we've had almost a doubling of the number of children on the special needs register coming into the school, we're a very inclusive school and um, a lot of people in the community and, and beyond know that uh, we have really good provision for children who, who have special needs or need something a bit extra. So we're noticing that we've had a doubling of the number of children on the SEM register coming into the school, but after a period of time where we're doing interventions with them, the number of children on the SEM register for the whole school has actually halved. And that's really um, proof of the success of the interventions. And the interventions, although they're great interventions, can only be that successful if we can really tailor them to the individual children's needs. That's where Iris comes in. Iris is so powerful at helping us to understand exactly what the child needs and what the barriers are, and that's how we can target the intervention most effectively. So the first, I, the first big impact is that is that reduction in the number of children on the SEM register, um, even though we've got more children with special needs coming into the school. I suppose the in terms of the pupil premium, we have uh, focused on a particular year group last year with our use of Iris for the group analysis of pupil premium children eligible for pupil premium and we've used it to help us target the interventions that we have um, which we discovered through the Sutton Trust Toolkit so I'm really talking about for us it's effective feedback it's understanding making learning visible why it, what is actually happening um, and helping the child to understand what they need to do in their learning to move on the step um, it's also one-to-one -one tuition. We've done a lot of work, lot of work as well around help, around helping children whose needs are much more fundamental, perhaps around having toast in the morning because they haven't had any breakfast, um, or getting the homework done because that's not happening at home. So all of those things together um, have been driven by our use of Iris Connect. We've been observing the children in class, talking to the children as a result, talking about what we think we're observing. Um, and then putting the interventions into place. In the year group where we've done it, we have discovered that just in that one year, the children who are eligible for pupil premium have made more progress, greater progress than the group of children who are not eligible um, in both writing and maths and equal progress in reading. So over time, that will obviously close the gap. Um, at a whole class level, we're using it for all the pupils in the class. We're observing all of the pupils. The teachers are using Iris for self-reflection, self-observation, also to share with peers um, to help them collaboratively improve their practice. And we're also doing coaching where we, um, we are t helping each other 
through coaching to improve our practice. So that's really directed at all the children in the class. We initially started with a few kind of champions of it, if you like, who used it and felt confident in that and immediately saw a benefit. And they carried on using it and using it and using it and sort of their feeling and their success with it was then feeding out across the school. Initially, we're using it to reflect on my own teaching. So recording lessons or recording myself working with the group, watching it back to see really what happens. I don't think you can ever know what you're like as a teacher until you watch yourself as a teacher, which it's hugely informative. There's things that you say and things that you do in the way that you act that you don't realise that you're doing. Um, and it makes you really conscious of that within your classroom. Um, makes you far more aware of sort of the subtext perhaps that you might use and the words you use or the way that you present things to the children. It's also really useful if you've got a group of children that you're not sure why they're not getting something. You can use the iris to film them either working independently or with an adult and then watch it back and actually really figure out what's going wrong in their learning for them. The school has to set up its environment, if I'm absolutely honest. It can't be a piece of technology that makes that environment. It has to be the, the school and the way the school is working that will set it up. Um, but I think the technology clearly, clearly helps. We started experimenting with the library system quite a lot and I think that's going to have a real impact on supporting NQTs particularly or teachers who have perhaps um, areas that they want to develop further because they feel you know that's that's not their strength in teaching and by having the earpiece and somebody on the other end that actually can support you whilst you're teaching and we've started to try that with teachers who feel confident in, in doing that and again we started with who would like to have a go um, and so we've got one or two teachers now they all want to have a go with the earpiece. I've been experimenting with having an earpiece in while teaching with someone coaching me through the lesson and I have found this really beneficial because other people see things in the classroom that you wouldn't actually notice. And I'm also using it to coach other people as well. I'm currently working with an NQT and I'm going to be trialling the use of the coaching tool, the earpiece tool on this, um, to coach her through her lesson and help her with her language. Um, so far in my NQT, Iris has, been, has made a big impact to my teaching, being able to watch myself back and notice things. Um, evaluate my lesson to see how I can improve further in the next lesson I put in things that I hadn't noticed that I was doing before so I found it really valuable. The support of NQTs has been really important for us. Gives, we started by giving them a chance just to film themselves without them feeling that anybody was going to be watching them and critiquing them on it so it was for them sort of building their confidence. That happened really quickly. They were reluctant at first because there's always that thing when you're filming yourself that you feel awkward with it but by the second or third time doing that they were really beginning to see the benefits. Yeah, I feel that Iris has brought a sense of more sharing within the school and people aren't as afraid to use Iris and share their ideas and give tips to other teachers, which I found really helpful, especially being an NQT, being able to watch other people and see strategies that they do, so I feel it's been really helpful.